I am Jaren Miller and I received my final placement at Twin Cities Glass. The purpose of their ringing the bell is to celebrate that they accomplished their goal. <laughs> it was a lot of work. It was frustrating at times, but this is something that I wanted, so I just continued to push forward. I've met lots of great coaches, teachers, and friends. I got you guys feel like family to me. Other people um, in your life outside of here that um, try to make you fall and come in here show me that I never have to feed into that that I could do it even if it was on my own. I see the butterfly come forth and the excitement almost feels like it's me. Wow, the bell. <laughs> that bell is still ringing. That bell is still ringing in my life. Our goal at Twin Cities Rise is to permanently improve people's lives. People who come to us from backgrounds of deep poverty. It is really about the personal transformation of an individual from someone who may have felt that they couldn't achieve anything to graduates who believe they can achieve everything. Our core empowerment program is exactly uh, what drives our participants uh, to success. Personal empowerment training uh, provides the soft skills that uh, that most of our participants don't have when they come in here. We say here at Twin Cities Rise in our empowerment class that core value is the right. I have a right to love myself, to value myself, and to see myself as important. When I started taking the empowerment classes, slowly that, that layer of doubt was peeled off of me and uh, I literally bloomed. First off, is this question or statement? The population that we are most dedicated to serving is people in deep poverty, and in particular, African-American men. A lot of our participants come from homelessness, addictions, incarceration. All of the staff comes from a background that's sort of similar to the participants. Teaching the correctional facilities, the same correctional facilities that I spent years in. I've had uh, participants tell me that it's powerful. It's, wow, you've been where I've been and you're where you're at. And I say, yeah, if I can do it, you can do it. Anybody can do it. My name is Tyna Bryant. I work at Wells Fargo. I work in the cash vault as an operations clerk. Sometimes I handle up to $34 million a day, counting it, and it's incredible just seeing the amounts of money coming in and out, knowing that you're over this and you have responsibility for it. Makes me feel good. I watch her stop sometimes and care for another individual to make sure that they're able to cut up to speed so that nobody's left behind. And I think that's something she learned at Twin Cities Rise. Before I came here, I was working janitorial work. I had my son barely getting by. He was the one that helped me keep pushing by seeing him and know that if I can make a change within myself, then it would be better for him. She will someday, I predict, be a manager at Wells Fargo. In fact, I told her someday she may be having my job. And wouldn't that be a blessing? Yes, I can envision myself someday taking over John's job. No. <laughs> 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 I'd like to thank Twin City Rise for uh, just giving me this opportunity to, um, to really put myself out there and, and help me get motivated and, and to be the person that I can be. I've often told people I'm not sure that I could make the type of journey that a lot of our graduates have made. It's, it's just a phenomenal thing to see and to observe uh, when you hear one of our successful graduates speak. Because of coincidence, right, I am where I am today. Every time I go to a graduation, every time I hear a bell ring outside, that's what makes my heart skip a beat. It's likely that their children will never be in poverty again, and their grandchildren won't, won't be in poverty again, and we may have stopped poverty in that generation. They see their employment opportunity as really a lifesaver, and they clutch onto it. So they approach with a very different view than your average person coming again and off the street. I think when you look at our retention rate, uh, which is how long an individual uh, stays on the job, you know, we're up somewhere in the mid 80% for first year retention. It seems to me that if you're not interviewing somebody from Twin Cities Rise, you might be passing up on the best employee that you could ever have.
Twin City Rise holds itself accountable for producing results, communicating to those who would give. It also uniquely demands that same accountability for those that they're serving. If you're really about helping an organization that will help an individual who, of their own volition, stands up and says, I want to make a change, that would be Twin Cities Rise. You win two ways. You improve society and you reduce, if you will, the tax burden. And you do that, obviously, by removing people from welfare rows, uh, removing people from the prison system. And in that way, we fulfill our mission. We actually do raise families out of generational poverty. Um, when I was a kid, I used to go to school with briefcases and dress real nice, and, and I was flunking out of school. But I used to do that because there was, in the back of my mind, I always knew that I wanted to be successful. If I hadn't come here, I truly believe that I would probably be out there using still. I can go anywhere I want to. How high, there's no limit. It's more than just getting a job, it's become a better person. This was the beginning, the beginning of a new life. I owe so much to Twin Cities Rise for helping me help myself.